Hi boys and girls, welcome to our art lesson for this week. We are carrying on looking at William Morris and the work that he did and today we're going to look at more the details of what he did so I hope you enjoy this. For this lesson you're going to need a pencil, a piece of paper and if you have got colouring pencils at home, colouring pencils. Watch the video, have a go and then see if you can send it me back. I did manage to do some of your wallpapers last week and they look awesome but I want to wait till I've done everybody's before I send those out and um, they do look absolutely fantastic so thank you for those and um, let's crack on with a little bit more of William Morris then. So as we spoke last week this is William Morris and he was inspired to create wallpaper and he was one of the first people to create decorative wallpaper with patterns on and here are three examples that I showed you last week. Remember that this was during the Victorian period which we learned about in school during our last half term. Remember he made lots of different types of wallpaper and he sold it mainly to the middle and upper classes in Britain and then around the world and you can still get that those designs today. So as I said William Morris made designs that were for wallpapers and this was mainly inspired by flowers, plants and the nature around him and he would use a technique called block printing where he would create one block worth of design and this would be repeated throughout um, a piece of wallpaper and sold. So he could afford to be very very detailed in that one picture because it was then reprinted by a block rather than him having to draw it all out which would have taken a very very long time. Um, his style was very very detailed and that's what we're going to look at a little bit more today. After the block process um, he actually, uh, well printing in general in Britain moved towards uh, printing machines rather than blocks being done by hand. Now in history we've been talking about the Industrial Revolution and this coincides with the Industrial Revolution in the sense that without the Industrial Revolution advances in this technology would not have happened. So um, these two things coincide and happen at a similar time. This is an example of the printing machine that would have been used to make William Morris's wallpaper. It would have used synthetic coloured inks, so they are um, not natural coloured inks. They would have been created from something. Um, so that is what happened later in his life. That's what those developments led to. So as I mentioned before he used lots of nature and flowers around him and he was really inspired by this. These designs were really intricate and detailed but also incredibly realistic and as you can see in this design here which is called Windrush and was created in 1881 to 83 you can see how detailed the flower is. He hasn't just drawn a circle with petals around the outside he's actually looked in detail at the flower looked at the flower's colors how it moves and you can really see that in the detail here he's also used different colors three in this one so the blue the red and kind of goldy yellow he stuck to this so that it was actually cheaper to make the more colors the more expensive it was to print sticking to three colors was attractive to the eye it gave enough range however you were still able um, to make it in a cheaper version Now William Morris used many different types of flowers from all around the world, not just from Britain and this was because many of his customers actually travelled around the world and therefore he wanted to be able to sell to a wide range of people. As you can see here you've got that flower which is very very prominent at the bottom and then you've got smaller flowers um, around the leaves and the stems. You can see that he didn't just draw straight stems but they're bendy and they twist and they make a pattern. He was really really um, big on this that they weren't just straight flowers that they were bendy. 
So what I'm going to ask you to do today is I would like you to recreate a flower or create your own flower. You'll see in the design that I've um, done on the next slide, I've created a flower that maybe is a little bit different. It's kind of a mix of a tulip and a lily and I've mixed those together. I've used red and blue and green for mine and this is mainly because I was quite inspired by the VAD, the VE uh, day tomorrow um, and I thought actually I wanted to do a red and blue design um, to coincide with that. Now when he did his, he started with a um, the stems and then he did a rather large flower first. So I think it'd be good, maybe you want to draw one or two stems that bend first, then draw your flower, then add in more stems and maybe a smaller flowers as well. That flower was the most important thing on his page and then the, although the leaves and stems were still visible and still prominent and important on the page, that flower was what your eyes were drawn to. Remember the leaves and stems goes in all different types of directions and he has used those different colours. Now I've used very bright colours and bold colours in mine. You can choose to do the same or you could choose to do something a little bit different if you've got other colours at home. Have a watch of the video, have a go yourselves and send them back to me and we can have a look at them. My hope is that if we are coming back when you guys are still in year one, I'd love to do a William Morris inspired display using the things that you've sent me. Um, I'd love to do the back of the display board in, in your wallpapers. Um, so if you can send them back to me, I can, I can give that a go, give it a try. Um, so have a watch of the video if you've got any questions. Um, email me back and I can see if I can answer them.